The transportation system in Greenland is very unusual in that Greenland has no railways, no inland waterways, and virtually no roads between towns. Historically the major means of transportation has been by boat around the coast in summer and by dog sled in winter, particularly in the north and east. Air transport While Germany occupied Denmark during World War II, the United States controlled Greenland and built bases and airports. The airports were codenamed as Bluey West 1 through to Bluey West 8 on the west of the island and Bluey East 1 to Bluey East 4 on the eastern side some had only seaplane access, some no air access. The largest of those airports, Bluey West 8, now renamed Kangalushuak Airport, remains the international hub for travel to Greenland, as it is the only airport that has a long enough runway to service jumbo jets. American authorities at one time entertained the idea of building a road from Kangalushuak to the second largest airport, in Narzazwak, several hundred kilometers to the south. The idea was abandoned after feasibility studies failed to prove it was possible. These airbases are generally not located near settlements, so travelers need an air transfer by helicopter small plane from Kangalushuak to reach settlements. All civil aviation matters are handled by the Civil Aviation Administration Denmark or the Greenland Airport Authority. Greenland now has 18 airstrips, 14 of which are paved. Some are based on U.S. airbases, but most are built by the Greenlandic government. All domestic flights are operated by Air Greenland. The name was anglicized in 2002 from the Danish Gronlandsfly Greenland Air in English. International flights are limited to four weekly flights from Copenhagen to Kangalushuak, and to Reykjavik, Iceland. Air Iceland flies from Reykjavik to Narzazwak. It offers also day trips to the wilderness from Reykjavik to Kulasuk on the east coast. Air Iceland flies to Itokortormit over Kulasuk once or twice a week throughout the year. Flights from Reykjavik are flown throughout the year. Also, year-round flights from Reykjavik to Alulasat will be offered after April 2011. From 2012 Air Greenland operates a route from Iqaluit in Canada to Nuuk during summer. Air cargo is very important for Greenland. Most perishable foodstuff is imported from Denmark by air. It uses the Air Greenland Copenhagen Kangalushuak passenger aircraft, and this is a reason why such a large aircraft is used. The air containers are then transported to the other airports by the small planes that can use the small runways. Some air cargo is transported by boat from Kangalushuak, but not in the winter when the Kangalushuak fjord freezes, one of the reasons to build the Sisimiat Kangalushuak Road. A state-owned firm called Kalalit Airports is currently tasked with operating and updating the airports in Nuuk and Alulasat. This process has been contentious as Chinese firms bid for the contract, with one Danish PM stating, We don't want a communist dictatorship in our backyard. <laughs> Roads. There are no roads between settlements, only within them and around them. There are 150 kilometers (90 miles) of roads in the whole country. 60 kilometers (40 miles) of the roads are paved. The roads are primary or local roads. There are no highways in Greenland. Speed limit ranges from 50 km per hour 31 miles per hour for local roads to 80 km per hour 50 miles per hour on primary roads. Some farms in the south have fairly extensive very simple roads for all-terrain vehicles not included in above figure, used for sheep farming and hay collection. 
There are plans for a 170 km long 110 miles road between Sisimiat and Kangalushuak, discussed for several years. In 2015, the cost of it, 500 million Danish kroner, caused it to be replanned as a one-lane road for terrain-capable vehicles, costing a tenth as much. It is still not decided as of 2019. Topic: Water transport. There are ports at Alulasat, Kangalushuak, also known by its Danish name Sonder Stromfjord, Kakortok, Narsak, Nuuk, Godthab, Aasiaat, and Sisimiat. Several other towns have also small ports. The only two users of the harbours are Royal Arctic Line and Arctic Umiak Line. Royal Arctic Line organizes freight ships, for example container ships, with regular sailings from Denmark. Arctic Umiak Line runs a passenger ship which also carries freight. The distance from Denmark to Nuuk by ship is 3,800 km 2,400 miles, 2,000 nmi, 4 days at 20 knot, so more perishable foodstuff is imported by air. There are no car ferries in Greenland or to Greenland. It is possible to transport cars as container freight with Royal Arctic Line both domestic and from Denmark. Passengers must travel with another method. This is done mostly when moving or buying a car, not normally when traveling, as there is no large road network anywhere. Railways Historically, special purpose narrow gauge railways, such as the 600 mm gauge Cornock Express in the village of Cornock in the Nuuk Fjord, have operated. The Cornock Express was used for transporting fish from the harbour to scaffolds for drying. The railway cars were only flatbed wagon cars with no locomotives to move them. Built in 1955, the railway was abandoned shortly before the village around 1971. Besides Cornock, there are several other railways that existed in Greenland. Marmbjurgat Mestersvig, likely for the local mines that existed in the 1950s and 1960s. Julianahab Ivagchit, likely for the local mine that once operated in the community Disco Island near Kutadlegsat Marmarillik <laughs>